There are reports tonight that one of the terror suspects in the attacks on Paris posed as a refugee to get into Europe undetected. Tonight, the Obama administration's plan to allow 10,000 Syrian refugees into the United States is facing a big backlash. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswold. As of right now, 24 governors, including one Democrat, say they're against that plan. Tonight, there was a packed house at a forum at UNO on how to deal with the crisis and ease the suffering. Reporter Kelly Bartnick is live on campus. Kelly. Jenny, tonight's discussion was scheduled long before Friday's attacks on Paris and also long before those calls against Syrian refugees started. I spoke with the group who calls Governor Ricketts uh, op opposition to Syrian refugees premature. Silence for Paris. Inside a UNO lecture hall says a lot. It's contrasted against public outcry against people in this very room. Please, please, please treat the problem, treat those who are funding ISIS, put pressure on them. Rula Jabor is a UNO PhD student who came to Omaha from Syria a decade ago. Her Catholic family was in the minority. She says ISIS moved in and persecuted the lot. You know, within one hour, he had to put everything into bags and, you know, in one bag, actually, and uh, flee the country with $3,000 in cash only. Jabour's story is one of several shared here tonight. The UNO forum talking about resettlement issues for Nebraska immigrants was meant to showcase a new Holocaust and genocide studies program until the news of the day took over. So I think to sort of preemptively say, you know, shut the door, we're not going to let them into our state is a little premature and, and you know, not Nebraska nice. Nebraska Governor Pete Ricketts joined a list of states concerned about accepting Syrian refugees, calling Nebraska welcoming for families who want to live, work, and raise families, but saying that shouldn't come before Nebraskans' safety and security. That is a position Doug Kagan and Nebraska Taxpayers for Freedom pushed for. Uh, there's no accurate way right now to vet these refugees for either criminal or terrorist affiliations. He's lobbying for more changes in Lincoln in January to end resettlement programs, programs that brought people here tonight. Now ordinary Nebraskans grateful to have survival stories to share and eager to see others get the same chance. You are not treating a problem. You are treating a result. Treat the cause. The cause is within the borders of Syria. Lutheran Family Services, the organization that helps resettle refugees in Nebraska, said that right now most come from Burma. It did confirm tonight uh, via a statement that the governor had sent it that letter and said it would continue to work with the governor in open communication. Reporting live on UNO's campus, Kelly Bartnick, Action 3 News.